Hello and welcome to an ADT 2007 wall cleanups uh, tutorial here and uh, we're going to start off with some general information about wall cleanups. A lot of this applies not just to ADT 2007 but really going back to previous versions, several versions of ADT um, leading up to the ADT 2007. And I've got just a couple things written down here in my AutoCAD screen. Um, high, low, medium, detailed display configuration. So the first thing that we have to be aware of is, you know, if you can't see the different components within your wall styles, um, you might want to check between your high, low, medium, and uh, display uh, representations or configurations inside of here and we'll we'll be using these periodically normally you're pretty safe with medium detail so I'm going to be using medium detail most of the time so just be aware of that use the diamond grips instead of the square grips when you're stretching a wall so we're talking about wall cleanups and really some do's and don'ts I'm gonna go over here to my wall to my palette I'm gonna turn on my uh, rollout turn off my rollout and I'm gonna just click on the wall tool here and then I'm going to draw some walls. Now that in my screen I've changed that standard wall to be a little bit different which we can talk about later but the main thing is is that when we click on a wall okay if you want to make the you know the wall get longer click on the diamond grip okay because the square grip is a 3D grip okay so one of the rules with cleaning up with walls is that the walls have to be on the same Z and there's a fillet with a radius um, the the walls to clean up have to have the same Z and we'll talk about that as well the main thing is is you can sometimes people will say well I always use the same zero Z and somehow my walls got moved up and it's because if you grab a wall and you use this square grip and you go and use an object snap somewhere and and that object you snap to not only does this square grip work this way okay as well as in and out but it also works in 3d this grip here will always only slide that no matter what even if you use a snap it will filter through and and retain the same Z on the wall okay so rule number one unless you really want to don't use these use this if if this is will satisfy what you need to do okay and then we can use this grip here as well notice how by using the middle grip that the walls now this wall will follow that okay if you take this and use the middle grip okay and we move this take my ortho off and move that wall oh it's only letting me do it in a linear motion it'll retain that similarly here if I grab this grip and move it I don't really even have to say stretch these walls will um, move with that okay um, now the so the same we have to have the same Z and we want to use our diamond grip so that's kind of the first thing okay use the diamond grips um, or it'll, it might potentially grab a, a 3d object and then your walls won't clean up and then you'll uh, someone will look at it and all your Z's your properties over here you know your start and end point uh, inside of here okay will ch start to change okay your Z's at zero right now okay and also your elevation might change but your elevation is the is the whole wall not just one endpoint so there's a couple tips wall cleanup is turned on or off the the other thing about cleaning up is that the wall itself there's a switch individually on the wall that says clean up automatically you know yes or no so the properties here no that's all there is to it that's just an override meaning that wall just is not going to clean up with anything and again we're talking about cleanups we're talking about walls intersecting and stuff with each other okay let me draw some more walls on here okay okay notice how they're doing the cleanup okay you can trim TR for trim I can trim okay I can uh, extend okay can erase this little guy okay I can fill it F for fill it and again uh, interestingly enough with the fillet a little side note is that if you have a fillet radius set 
um, fill it and then we set that it does that okay and then if we say fill it and then we hold our control button in it'll fill it them oh without the radius let's try this again maybe it's the shift button shift button uh, doesn't uh, overrides the radius but that doesn't work with walls if I do a fill it and I use my shift button and I use walls it's still gonna try to put that round in it okay and because these walls are facing different directions of course I need to flip that wall around over here to truly make that work fill it these two now it's gonna work okay if I do a fill it and hold my shift button in and try to do it it's still gonna do a round if you if you do a fill it with lines and you hold your shift button in it overrides the round radius and puts it square so that's just I don't know if that's a bug or not but that's just something to be aware of so the main thing is with walls you can do a trim you can do extend you can do uh, offset right offset um, 24 you know same as treat treat walls like their lines okay offset trim extend rotate copy mirror all that stuff just treat them like lines um, and then um, so clean up is turned on or off so that you can grab any amount of walls anytime you want go over here and say you know clean up automatically no meaning that's it they're just not going to clean up and the clean up again is when they intersect with each other and we'll get into detail about priorities and components and all kinds of good stuff so the clean up there's a nice clean up this is not cleaning up because one of them okay remember now if you're in a drawing you can grab everything in the drawing and go up to here and say you know filter through just to be the walls and then you can say oh walls clean up you know yes escape escape now the walls globally are turned on so you can do that anytime you want if you want to grab all of something click everything on the screen and then you can filter through just the lines or just the text okay change properties and there's a little side note on there um, directions are going the same way wall direction so another influence here with walls is that notice how this wall if I click on it we've got our square grips on the end which we can use and we've got this grip in here and then a space bar we can you know use our standard grip commands if you're looking down inside of here okay and then you can notice that uh, does have this is the start and this is the end notice this one the direction is going from here to here and and my point being here is that if you're gonna do a corridor or a chain of walls have them all going in the same direction if the wall is non symmetrical it's gonna be very obvious because if I flip this guy around you're gonna see right away if I do a fillet and I use my sh uh, oh I wanna set my radius back to zero here if I if I fill it these I'm never gonna get what I want because the walls are flipped back and forth they're opposite they're doing the best they can under the circumstances okay so again this wall is going in this direction this wall is going in that direction you know you're headed for trouble when that happens so if walls are are symmetrical okay and then we'll go down here to a different palette and we'll go to the walls if I grab an 8 CMU wall and I draw that wall okay okay the the direction isn't as obvious because it's a symmetrical wall okay this one it's a little more obvious that these are going in the opposite directions just by the fact of the non symmetry aspect n n either way you can still flip this wall back and forth okay and that now we're gonna get this target of death here which is our whole this is telling us that the cleanup there's a cleanup not working and this target always sits at the middle of the line so first thing is this target shows there's a cleanup problem here and secondly it doesn't show you where the cleanup problem is that sometimes you think it's here but that's just where the target actually gets displayed and you can actually go into the wall and go into the edit object display and you'll see that you know there's a an actual layer in there called um, target somewhere around here War detect de defect warning okay defect warning if I turn that off I just won't see them but that's not really what we want the purpose is to manage them so what we can do a couple things sometimes if you take these and you kind of pull them back and then pull them forward again that solves your problem I'm gonna do F for fill it and then I'm gonna fill it these and that solves the problem so one of the other little manual tips is that if your cleanups aren't working pull them away do a fillet and refillet them 
okay or maybe extend them or something like that just by clicking on here and working with them okay sometimes this will be down here you know you might this might not be working or something take this if it's not working pull it off and then do an EX for extend and extend it sometimes that is enough so pull them apart push them back together push them back together with the fillet command or the extend command okay just a little a little tip there so wall directions try to keep them going if if it's a series of walls have them going in the same direction okay um, cleanup group definition styles are similar okay so what we're talking about here is the cleanup group definition so if we click on this and we go into here and we go cleanup group definition this is set to be good old standard okay so the cleanup group definition is a, a nested style. Okay, I'm just going to digress and go design our format into our style manager. Inside of our style manager, we'll see that we've got architectural objects, we've got uh, wall styles. Okay, inside of here, we've got wall cleanup group definitions, and there's not a lot in there. There's the only one there. Okay, and if I click on it, it'll show me the information, design rules. There's not a lot of information inside of here. It's just basically an association, okay, where you can have, you know, a wall cleanup group definition of uh, demo or new construction or phase one or phase two. So that way, only the walls that are in group phase two will clean up with each other. And, you know, so you basically clean up groups you know these type of walls will clean up and these type of walls will clean up now the interesting thing is we have this design rules uh, allow cleanup between host and xref so we'll we'll come back to this later so that allows this cleanup group to abide when you're using xrefs allow objects anchored to walls to other groups to be moved copied to this wall in other words if we have two different cleanup groups we can copy a window from one wall that has one cleanup group over to another wall that has a different cleanup group. That's what this does. By nature, if you if you have two walls with two different cleanup groups, you cannot copy a door or window from wall to wall because it will say it just won't let you do it because the cleanup groups are not the same. So I can go in here now if I want and I'm going to make a new cleanup group and I'm going to call this, you know, existing. And I'm going to make another cleanup group and I'm going to call it, you know, demo. We have display overrides as well, uh, but that's, we're just talking about, you know, I'm going to go back in here because I plan on using XRefs later. So then I can say, okay, there's my two cleanup groups. Now, those don't get applied, interestingly enough, to the wall style. Nowhere in this wall style do you, that I know of, do you set a, a cleanup group definition. But so what you do is you add it to the tool, okay? So what you do is inside of here, unless something has showed up in 2007, I don't believe you can set that. So that's not where that gets set. That gets set here at the tool level on the palettes. So maybe I want to, I'm going to right click on this. Well, let's, let's do uh, the one with the furring. I'm going to right click on this tool and I'm going to say copy. And then I'm just going to right click again and I'm going to say paste oh maybe I have to click out here to paste it uh, copy just trying to make a copy of that tool here paste there we go so now I have a copy of the CMU furring it's going to put it at the bottom of the palette I believe there it is and I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go to the properties of that tool okay itself and I'm gonna say clean up automatically yes clean up group definition you are a demo and then I probably want to change the name up here too uh, by giving it a new name but I can go in here and change that description you know demo and I can also rename it as well just by going and right clicking it on on it over here and then I can hit rename and I can just call this you know demo do whatever I want okay now when I click that wall I'm getting a CMU wall with furring doing the cleanup thing and then if I go up to here and I click on this guy 
same similar wall style okay different cleanup group okay this is using cleanup group standard okay this is using cleanup group demo and this is using cleanup group C uh, sorry cleanup group standard yeah that's right because I didn't change that I could go in here and change the properties of that cleanup group definition pick on there set that as you please okay so cleanup group definitions just one more aspect of trying to get your walls to clean up now in here there's actually cleanup taking place it's just that the priorities of this wall style the components have a higher priority of this wall style we'll get into that and that's why this one stops and starts on the outside of that because this has higher priorities and that's all we'll go to, we'll have a look at that a little bit later but the fact is it is doing the, the cleanup the way it's supposed to so wall directions cleanup group definition styles are similar between the walls wall bases are at the same Z elevation and this is a big one as I alluded to a little bit earlier what happens is if we take this maybe I'm going to do a little bit of a cleanup here and I'm going to take this wall and I'm going to raise that up the elevation you know by wouldn't make any difference I can raise it by 0.1 of an inch okay and that's exactly what happens sometimes now even though you'll say okay well let's have a look why are these walls not cleaning up okay you click on here and then you check and you say okay uh, the cleanup automatically is turned on the cleanup group definition is standard okay check this wall uh, cleanup group definition is standard cleanup is yes why are they not cleaning up okay and then you might even go in and uh, you know have a look in 3d and you say okay well you know they look like they're on the same Z location ah but they're not of course and that that number can be minusculely small by the way my display is giving me problems there um, is that the uh, you know the number that number could be um, very small okay oh let me just do a swivel so shift middle mouse button lets you orbit that around okay so you might not be able to detect it is my point okay you'll have a look you'll look around I'm using again shift middle mouse button to spin this and you'll say no everything looks good and then you'll click on here and you'll check the elevation and the elevation sometimes it's flaky some the problem being sometimes it's off by you know three decimal places and that's because someone has been using their square grip and they snap to something that's not on the same Z zero 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 location so inevitably you'll end up with a wall that is you know looks like you know elevation this again could be very minuscule see it says elevation is zero so you say okay well I'll click on this one elevation of that is oh it does show up okay so then what happens is and it's not real easy to necessarily grab all these depending on how off they are and how it was created to go down here and change that elevation back to be zero okay can be tricky now if we go back to our top view okay we'll see that now our cleanup is working so the same elevation which is the Z okay and I believe we can go down here and we can start to play with some of our new tools here as well I think you can even lock a Z or something like that elevation so just to do a recap getting started high low medium display configuration have a look at it always use the diamond grips and you'll stay out of trouble wall cleanup is turned on for the wall and that is again in the wall itself the properties and you can turn that on so you can right click and you can go to the properties of this as I did and change these and this hard codes it into that one tool and then again right click copy right click paste and then make a copy of that same wall but with different properties okay so wall cleanup is turned on wall directions are going in the same direction we saw that wall cleanup group definition styles are similar so first we have to create the cleanup group definition style in our style manager 
and then we apply that either to the wall after the fact or we can go and apply that to a tool itself have a look in there wall bases are at the same Z so whenever you draw a wall always remember think think of the points you're picking there it's like think of it like a a, a, a string of, of a, a, a um, a, a spool of string or something that when you drag this you're picking points and you're picking the start and end point and that's that kind of green line that's showing up and with that um, always remember that that point can be uh, a, a can is a 3d line and whenever you draw a wall think of a wall once you click on a wall you'll see where that baseline is okay think of that as a thread that goes from one point to the next if this thread and this thread and this thread are not all exactly on the same Z they will not engage in a cleanup that's just the fact now we're gonna show you how you can make the bottom of the wall drop down while still keeping the Z value here by using uh, some interesting things with the wall bottom and tops so you can we'll see in a future lesson go into here and you know make this wall actually uh, go lower than the Z and still clean up even though you know there's our our Z along here we can make the bottom of the wall be lower than the Z so technically you're still drawing on the same zero 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 or should say zero elevation but the bottom of the wall can be above or below this thread line that I'm referring to on here okay so wall bases have to have the same Z and then I'll show you a trick on how you can make the wall go above and below the Z but think of it when you're drawing. Think of it as vectors. If this endpoint, if this whole line is not on the same Z, doesn't have to be zero, okay? But it has to be on the same one as this and this and this. And then we can build the wall around that. So keep that in mind when you're drawing. Think of it as drawing, stringing like threads along. And all the threads have to be at the same elevation whatever elevation that is in order for the cleanup to take place and we're all talking really talking about the cleanup okay so there's our first um, six rules that we have uh, talking about uh, wall cleanups